Hello everyone, my name is Chris Garada, and I'm here to help you learn how to make palm crosses. As we prepare for Palm Sunday, many of us won't be able to be at church physically, and so I think it's important for us to make our homes as festive as they can be to begin this Holy Week. Now, for those of you who don't have palms to make your crosses, I want to encourage you to use whatever you have in your house, including paper, white paper, colored paper, whatever you can find, in order to help make your home as festive as it can be. In addition to using palms and paper, I want to encourage you to green your front door. Put whatever kind of greenery you have on your front door to mark yourself as someone who is beginning this holy week to welcome Jesus triumphantly into Jerusalem as we will all do on Sunday. Now let's get to making our crosses. Grab your paper, grab your palms, and follow along. Begin by holding your palm horizontal from you, skinny side to the left and thick side to the right. You'll take the thick side about halfway up the palm and make a 90 degree fold away from you. Then you will bring the thick side back underneath, and then over once more. From there, you will take the skinny side, fold it in front of you or on top of that box to the right, and then, watch this, don't fold anything, just flip it over again so that the skinny side is to your left, and very carefully, Put the skinny end through the little box that you've made. Slide it through so it comes out the right side. And once it does, you will pull it slowly, but firmly, all the way. And what you have done now is you've created a knot. And that's the most important part of the whole cross. Once you've got your knot, you will take the skinny side, slide it back through the knot, creating the arm of your cross, the first arm. And I suggest it be a little smaller than you think. Once you've got that first arm, you want to take the skinny part, fold it back through that same knot, and pull it gently to create the other arm of your cross. Keep them about even. Then flip it over. You'll take the thicker part, put it through that knot once, and then fold it under and put it right back through that same knot to create the top and the bottom of your cross. If you'd like, you can just tear the little end off the skinny side and you've got a finished palm cross. Now, many of you may not have palms at home, so I've asked one of my helpers to show us how you can make a palm cross using any kind of paper you have at home. Colored paper, white paper, whatever you have available in order to make your house festive for Palm Sunday. So here we've cut the white paper in a strip and she's going to do the same kinds of folds we just did with our palm fronds. You're gonna take one end of your paper, fold it straight up, then underneath and back up again. Then the left side comes over and then watch here, she'll flip it all the way. And then she'll take that same side, put it through the knot that she's making. And then we'll pull it tight. And that is the most important step to making your cross. Once the knot is made, she'll take the same side, put it back through the knot, creating the first arm. Once she has the arm the length that she'd like, she'll take the end and bring it back through the knot to make 
a second arm that is the same size. Then she'll take the tail and she'll put it through the knot once and then back through the knot once again in order to finish the top and the bottom of the cross. So no matter what you have at home, whether you have palms or if you just have paper, you can make sure your house is decorated wonderfully for Palm Sunday. Well, that's it. Thank you for being with me on this video. I hope that your palms will decorate your house very well this Palm Sunday. And may God bless you all.